Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and for today we will be featuring Pacuveria Orpit. Itong succulent na to has silvery blue leaves and parang pabilog lang yung kanyang leaf shape and we cannot really see any pointed tips sa kanya and over time itong succulent na to will be giving us a stress color of parang light pink to orange na leaf margins. In terms of their light requirements, it's important to put it in an area where it can receive enough sunlight. So, sa ngayon, nakalagay nga lang siya sa isang filtered sunlight na location because up here, meron tayong fiberglass na roofing. Although, if we will be putting it under full or direct sunlight, it can tolerate it as long as gradually natin siyang i-introduce sa full sunlight to prevent sunburn. So, if it's receiving enough sunlight, magiging ganito ka-compact yung ating succulent. And if it's not gonna be receiving enough sunlight, magiging leggy or ethiolated naman siya. In addition, yung kanyang stress color would come out pag nakareceive siya ng enough sunlight and at the same time, hindi natin siya dinidiligan Often. Watering wise, we have to water it only pag nag completely dry na nga yung kanyang potting mix. And sa ngayon, if you're gonna be looking at its soil, para siyang dry. But ito, yung top layer lang is actually dry. Pero sa pinakaloob niyan is moist to wet pa yung kanyang soil. Kasi umulan nga or nabagyo tayo for the past days. And ayan, tignan nyo talagang moist pa sa pinakailalim and so it's very important na before we water yung ating mga succulent we have to make sure na hanggang sa pinakailalim talagang dry na yung ating potting mix just to make sure na hindi natin siya ma-over water kasi if we're gonna be basing it only sa pinaka top layer ng soil then we will be deceived na parang kulang na siya or kailangan niya na ng too big. So, I usually water itong aking mga succulents every 2 weeks or 4 weeks depending na sa season. For its propagation, sobrang dali ding dumami nitong succulent na ito. And so, itong nandito sa pinakataas is actually the mother na plant natin. And yung mga nasa baba are the offsets. So, we have a lot of offsets here. Sa ngayon, I think we have 10 or more than 10 offsets right now and habang lumalaki itong mga offsets, doon naman lumiliit itong ating pinaka mother plant and so I decided na i-cut na lang and propagate yung pinaka mother plant. Lastly, for its grooming and maintenance, I would say na sobrang daling alagaan ng succulent na ito. All we need to do is remove the dried and dead leaves from time to time. We need to check for any pest and regularly apply an insecticide just to keep it pest-free. And most importantly, we need to check for fungus. So it's the fungus season again sa ating mga succulents this rainy season and what we are seeing right now ay yung ating powdery mildew. So, ganyan lang yung kanilang itsura. It looks harmless but then yung mga yan, they spread fast. Kaya if we spot them, kailangan natin siyang i-isolate agad para hindi mahawa yung iba natin mga succulents. And of course, we have to treat it 
right away kasi if you won't be treating it talagang kakalat siya and eventually would slowly kill our succulent. So, I have already made different videos before about the systemic insecticide and the contact fungicide that I'm using for my succulents. And so, anytime these days, I have to apply a systemic insecticide sa lahat ng aking mga succulents, including this orpet, just to prevent and treat any existing fungal infection. So, we have to also remove the unwanted plants na mga ganito kasi kumbaga naikishare sila or kinukuha nila yung nutrients from our potting mix na dapat para sa ating main uh, succulent. So, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page, A Desert Succulent PH.